Hello, I'm Amy, a designer here at the Sanderson Design Group, and today I'm going to present to you our brand new Morris & Co collection, which is called Buttermere. Now, we are, of course, the original Morris & Co company, uh, which was founded in 1861, and we're very proud to house the original archive, uh, which has a lot of the fabrics, wallpapers, log books and paintings uh, from William Morris himself, um, and it's a great source of inspiration for our design team. Uh, this collection is called Buttermere. It's um, a place in the Lake District, which is in the UK. And it's a place that we call an area of outstanding natural beauty, which you'll be able to see if you ever look it up. Um, it has a really rich arts and craft history, and that's really what we've drawn on for this collection. Um, and the iconic blues and sunflower yellows of the landscape and the houses around that area um, have been a great source of inspiration. Uh, I'm going to go through each piece one by one and show you the details of each one. So I'm going to start off with probably the most iconic Morris design to date, which is Strawberry Thief. And this one here um, is a throwback to the original, uh, which was in the monotone blues. Um, I don't know if you know much about Strawberry Thief, but it was created in 1883 by Morris himself. Um, and he created it after noticing the thrushes in his garden at Kelmscott Manor stealing the strawberries. Um, so it's a really lovely story behind that one. So that's in quite a small scale. And then Strawberry Thief again, we have it here in a much bigger scale. And you've got brighter colour palette with rusts, teals, ochres and a fresh green um, palette all on a natural base. Next we have Michaelmas Daisy which is in this really strong mint ground and has this inky leaf running through it. Um, it's a John Henry Dill piece from 1912. Um, and you've got these really pretty daisies here within this intricate leaf design. Same design again, but we've brought it into a fresher palette, uh, which has got these really vibrant greens and these this pop of orange as well on a soft natural ground. We've got St. James here, which is just a sim really simple two colour, which you can kind of add to any creation really easily um, as well, because it's multi-directional. It's really easy for different, lots of different projects. Then we've got bell flowers, which is this small scale design of interlocking leaves and flowers. Um, and this one's on an ink ground and it's got sort of like a vibrant um, teal color coming through there in the leaves. And the white daisies really pop out. Same design, but in a much smaller scale. Um, this one's got this really rich, um, deep ochre, burnt orange kind of ground. And then we've got Another one, which is a John Henry Dill. Uh, this one is called Mini Daffodil and it's from 1891. It's scaled down from the original um, and in this really um, lovely sunshine colour palette, um, you can kind of see visions of a wildflower meadow, um, which the teals and the yellows kind of come to life throughout the collection. We've got woodland weeds in this really large scale design. If I hold it back, it might be a little bit easier to see, um, which was first printed in 1905. And this is a John Henry Dill as well. Um, a symmetrical layout of that design can help with lots of craft projects. We've got Daisy here in this small scale, um, which is actually can be found in the house, um, an iconic house of the Lake District in Beatrix Potter's house. That's on the walls there. We've got Mallow which has got these gorgeous hibiscus flowers and this really striking ink ground, which is a nice, simple two colour. And then you can really see how it changes um, by adding different colours into the same design. Um, so it can work with it. Um, mallow again, but in multi, which has got this fresh grass green. A really iconic design. This one is Willow Bow and it's one of William Morris's most recognisable patterns. Um, we've got the interlocking stems and delicate willow leaves in here and the inks and teals uh, running through the collection can really bring it all together. Next, we've got Golden Lily. 
um, which has got this really striking uh, diagonal sort of structure to the way it's designed. Um, it's a John Henry Dill piece again, and it's really well known. Um, and again, you can see how the different colour really changes the levels of the design. Um, we've got some of the key colours from the palette coming through in a fresher ground. And finally, we have got Marigold, which is in these burnt orange and sunflower tones. And it really shows Morris's skill, um, how you can create such an intricate pattern from just one wood block or two um, to create that, that can really bring it together. Such a complex design, but with two colors. So that was the collection. I hope you enjoyed looking through it all and can't wait to see what you create with it.